Hey everyone, welcome to our video on advanced sentiment analysis in Python. So, sentiment analysis uh, already you know, it's a powerful neural language processing technique, right? So, in the determined to sentiment that emotion or sentiment or how they are going to convey to us actually. So, in from the piece of text, right? So, in this video, we'll show you how to perform sentiment analysis uh, in some popular uh, Python libraries, right? So let's get it started. So the first library is uh, we'll be using the text blob. You know the text blob is Python library that provides that uh, simple API for performing the neural language processing task such um, as a sentiment analysis system, right? So it uses the navy bias classifier to classify the text as positive, negative, or neutral. So let me, let's get it started. So let me import the text after that uh, so I can so I can just type it so after that we need to get the blob from the text blob in the text over there so now we have your text blob value object so in that uh, I can find sentiment equal to blob dot sentiment dot polarity so it will be returned the uh, pointing value of uh, sentiment values. The next part I am going to determine that uh, that sentiment values. So if the sentiment value is above zero, it should be a positive, or below it should be a negative, and uh, if it is same as zero, it's a new, it's a neutral, right? So yeah. So in that uh, sentiment, if it is zero, it's a neural, other else uh, positive, negative based on that. So let me run the code in Python app dot py okay so it it will be written that uh, positive sentiment so the next part we can run the same text uh, in that other library called uh, uh, where are sentiment right so there is a uh, three popular libraries uh, one is text blob another one is where are sentiment another one is main thing it's nltk right so where are sentiment is here uh, obviously it's a python library it will be provide that uh, rule based sentiment analysis tool okay so specifically designed for social media text and uh, it uses the lexicon based approach to determine the sentiments of text right so here is the example how to perform that uh, sentiment analysis using that uh, where are sentiment library right so in that uh, first let me uh, we can keep the same code and uh, i can type below so i can just uh, import the header files yeah, where are sentiment dot where are sentiment and sentiment intensity analyzer so like that and uh, i need to create it as in the text uh, the same as uh, text i love my job it's the best job in the world so like that i can put so after that um, i can create an analyzer object so in that uh, analyzer equal to sentiment intensity analyzer so the analyzer will be the object actually so after that um, you can simply pass the text over there so if you are new to the uh, machine learning things, so these libraries will really helpful to you. So the sentiment will be written uh, some uh, values. So that value based on we can uh, make a, a decisions on that actually. So I can create a if statement. So same as it will return the own dictionary compound. So the compound value is about zero. It will be a positive or else negative or if it is same, it's a neural uh, like that actually. And uh, let me run that. Uh, Okay. now it will return that two two statements one is positive another one is a positive statement right so that next part it's a nltk so finally nltk it's a neural language toolkit so it's a, obviously it's a python library so it's a very best tool for the um, to the text classification part and uh, that it, it will be very suit of the text processing libraries for the neural language processing task right so it includes that uh, sentiment analysis module uh, that can be used to perform that sentiment analysis using the different algorithm right so here is a some uh, simple example i can provide in that uh, python script the same as actually so first uh, we need to import the necessary libraries with the uh, nltk object actually nltk library so nltk dot sentiment and a sentiment intensity analyzer so same as uh we are sentiment okay so and uh, but this sentiment intensity analysis comes from the nltk and uh, i can take the same text i love my job it's the best job in the world and uh, 
so I can create a same as analyzer so after that uh, we need to calculate the polarity scores so <coughs> almost same for the weather sentiment and NLTK but uh, this NLTK will contains a lot of functionalities over there so if statement also the same it will be retaining us in the compound value okay so once uh, I made a code so if it is sentiment value is above zero it's a positive or else negative if it is same it's a neural uh, like that so if I execute the code yeah so the both are uh, the three uh, things are getting as a positive state sentiment right so based on that your text it will be determined and it will be written that uh, it will be written the decision based on that so these are the few examples how to perform the sentiment analysis in python so there are many libraries uh, and uh, techniques available and uh, the choice of library depends on the specific use case and the type of data being analyzed right so so and coming to the uh, that main point so the main point should be a text blob visas whether sentiment visas and nltk so who's the winner right so there is no clear winner among the text blog and the water sentiment and nltk because each library has its strength and a weakness right so and the choice of library depends on the specific use case and the type of data being analyzed right so text blocks text blob is a great uh, simple sentiment analysis task uh, because it is of use to simplicity it uses the trinity uh, name bias and the classifying the text as a positive negative neutral like that weather sentiment on the other hand it's specifically designed to the social media text and it's um, basically runs from the lexicon model right and uh, nltk it's comprehensive uh, neural language processing library that includes a wide range of features like algorithms include sentiment analysis module and highly customizable that's the main thing right so users can choose from the different sentiment analysis algorithm based on the specific uh, needs okay in choice of library uh, you need to specify the use case and uh, the type of being data analyzed and uh, it is best to evaluate the strength and the weakness of the each library to choose the one of the best fits uh, your needs right so hope you guys you will get some clear understand and uh, thanks for watch our video on advanced sentiment analysis in python for beginners we hope you found this tutorial helpful to understand that perform that sentiment analysis right so don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more tutorial on data science or machine learning keep subscribe my channel and if you have any queries or suggestions for future videos you can just leave a comment as well and I'll see you on the next time. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye.